What's up everyone, Vu of Envu Films, and I am back with another idiotic video for you to watch. In today's idiotic video, I wanna talk to you about my experience using the new Su-Ray 50 millimeter full frame T2.9 anamorphic lens, as you can see right here, for wedding filmmaking. I filmed a wedding last weekend, and I, for the most part, used this lens the entire day. This lens was not sent to me by Suray like a lot of the other tube doucher videos out there. I actually bought this with my own hard earned cash from working at a nail salon doing pedicures, manicures, and of course, filming promo videos for fellow restaurants because I'm obviously Vietnamese. Of course, I'm just kidding about the filmmaking part. I am not kidding about the pedicure and manicure part. So let's just quickly get into this. The lens is massive. It is thick, it is girthy, it is not something I am used to holding as an Asian male, but very high quality, very well built. Even though it's from China, uh, but yeah, I mean, nothing wrong with the build quality of lens. It, this thing is built very well. It's solid. Um, the uh, focus ring, you know, it's kind of loose, but uh, overall, not too shabby. The aperture ring is very tight. And uh, yeah, not too bad. With regards to using it um, to film a wedding, to be quite honest, for me, it was quite difficult. I am a Sony a7S III B Alpha douchebag of the century. So that means I am very used to using autofocus. Matter of fact, I never use any other type of camera system since I started my douchebag filmmaking career back in 2014, 2015. I've always used Sony. Sony had always had, at the very least, decent autofocus. And of course, now it has amazing autofocus. So that's all I really know. So focusing manually, relying on uh, peaking and of course I had a monitor because you need a monitor that helps you de-squeeze the footage so that when you know whatever you're looking at on the screen is you know accurate and that you could like compose properly uh, things of that nature so that was what I was using to focus um, if you're not familiar with manual focusing you're probably gonna have the same uh, issue as me in terms of just confidence um, knowing that you know you are pretty much shooting run and gun a wedding things are happening very quickly and you want to make sure everything's in focus especially for a d-bag like myself who's just used to just touching the screen and everything's in focus all the time racking all that th all that stuff and then of course i didn't mount this on gimbal um because i didn't have like a follow focus motor thing for my uh dji rs2 so i just kind of didn't use this on a gimbal at all um, I will say that I started to get a little bit sketched out in terms of just my confidence level with what is in focus. And so by the time um, the ceremony came, so let's be clear, I use this for prep, portrait session, like first look, things of that nature, and reception dancing. But I switched over to the Sony 50 millimeter F1.2 G Master lens on DJI RS2 for the ceremony and a little bit after the ceremony where they did their first dance and stuff like that. So, um, but overall, like the image is great, very sharp. I made a mistake of putting a mist filter on this for the prep. So the footage wasn't to my liking, but without the mist filter, with this lens as is, the image looked fantastic. Uh, I thought the flares were very cool, the anamorphic flares. Some people were complaining about like the extra additional like secondary flare. I don't mind it. I think it looks cool regardless. Um, and you know, very easy to handle, point blank, fantastic build, just fantastic feeling of a lens um, to use, to focus, um, all that stuff. And I think the weight is good, especially for handheld because the weight helps you keep your camera moves, your camera stable, um, more so than a lightweight lens. But yeah, like no complaints about image quality. De-squeezing it is quite simple. Uh, I just de-squeeze it, you know, so if, if the vertical is 100, I just put it down to like 63 and a half. And then, uh, you know, to make sure everything is like fits on like a two by 35 ratio timeline that I'm, I usually do. I just, uh, I think I went in 
I scaled it about uh, to 118%. Um, percent. Um, but yeah, like overall, I have no issues with this lens. I think, you know, I'll probably, I bought it to test it, but I think I'll probably keep it, you know, for specialty projects when I want anamorphic and things like that on my full frame. It's great. T2.9, especially from a guy who's used to shooting at like f1.4 on his G Master 50 millimeter, is not as bright as I'd like it to be. But uh, in terms of like bokeh and all that stuff, it's, it looks good. It's great, you know. And you know, like I said, I like the flares and all that stuff. But it could be a little bit brighter um, because you know, once low light hits, it's kind of tough at t two point nine to get like really good clean shots. Uh, but thankfully, Sony A seven S three has wonderful low lights, so that helped out. But uh, yeah. Um, other than that, like if you want an anamorphic lens for your full frame uh, E mount camera or like whatever other mounts uh, they have. Uh, I would highly recommend it. I mean, you know, unfortunately it's manual focus. I don't know if autofocus is a possibility for anamorphic, but I hope, hope so maybe in the future. But, uh, you know, if you want that look, if you want the anamorphic and if you want to have a full frame anamorphic, I would look no further than this cause it's like cheap, you know, like right now I think you can buy an Indiegogo for, um, $1,199. Uh, but I think normally, once it goes on sale at stores, like regularly, it's going to be like 1500 bucks. So uh, either way, at either price, I think it's, it's a great value for an anamorphic full frame lens. Sharp, great quality, um, no weather sealing, but just if you just want a great quality uh, anamorphic look, this, this, this is it. So with that being said, guys, that's pretty much it. Not too much of an in-depth review, but uh, just kind of like sharing my experience using it and if I recommend it. So with that being said, guys, if you like this kind of content, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, lighten up.